Hi, my name is Richard, and today I'll be demonstrating a basic setup of the EVOOS 2 on our Mitsubishi EVO 8. Since this is our R&D car, it's equipped with some non-standard parts like our larger turbo and an external wastegate. But the setup I'm going to show you today will work on any turbocharged engine. The EVOOS 2 is connected to an ignition switched relay, which is then connected to the battery on the power terminal to get its power. It's getting its pressure source directly from the intake manifold via this nipple, which also supplies vacuum to the fuel pressure egg. The EVOOS 2 solenoid is connected to the external wastegate via our simple two port connection method. Port 3 of the solenoid is connected to a pressure only source normally found on the compressor cover of the turbocharger. Port 2 of the solenoid is going to the bottom port of the external wastegate and port 1 is vented to atmosphere. The eBoost 2 allows the user to tune three different parameters of the boost curve. One, the SP value. Two, the gate pressure. And three, the sensitivity. The SP value is the duty cycle of the solenoid and controls the signal, essentially the pressure, that gets to the wastegate. The higher the duty cycle, the more air that is bled from the signal going to the wastegate, the more boost the turbocharger will make. The gate pressure is the pressure at which the e-boost allows pressure to get to the wastegate. This allows the user to tell the wastegate exactly when they want it to open, increasing the response of the turbocharger. The sensitivity controls how quickly the e-boost 2 reacts to changes in boost pressure. This feature can be used to eliminate oscillation in your boost curve. Once you've wired up the solenoid and the power source and you've run the wiring loom, and the pressure line into the cabin, all you need to do is hook it up to the head unit. We'll start with navigation. To enter the setup menu, you need to press the mode and up key at the same time. To enter the boost menu, you need to press the mode and the boost key at the same time. So first we'll enter the setup menu, mode and setup at the same time. To enter any menu, what you need to do is just press the mode key once. Use the up and down keys to make adjustments or toggle through the menu and press mode to save. Alternatively, you can hold the mode key to exit any menu. The first thing we'll set is the overboost shutdown. The overboost shutdown is the boost pressure at which if the eBoost 2 detects it, will change the boost pressure back down to what the wastegate force is. To enter the overboost shutdown menu, press the mode and up key at the same time. As you can see, the overboost shutdown from factory is set at 7 psi. Because our target is 18 psi, we normally like to set the overboost shutdown approximately 3 psi above our target boost. In this case, 21 pounds. Enter the menu by pressing mode. Press the up key until you reach your desired 21 psi. And press the mode key again to save the value. The next menu is cylinders. This determines the calibration of the RPM pulse from the ECU so that the eBoost can read the correct RPM. Since this car is a four cylinder, the factory value of four is appropriate. Next is the scale. The eBoost 2 is capable of displaying three different units. We've got bar, PSI, 
and KPA. On this vehicle, we will set it to PSI. The next menu is the bar graph. The bar graph is a graphical representation of the amount of boost you, you are currently making. So at the value of 15, all the lights in the bar graph will be lit up. Since we want to make 18 PSI of boost, we'll adjust that so that at maximum deflection, the engine will be producing 18 PSI. Enter the menu by pressing mode and toggle up to 18 and save the value by pressing the mode key. Next we'll set up the number of set points. The number of set points determines how many boost groups you unlock, in other words how many boost settings you can have. It's factory set at 1 but the eBoost 2 can allow you to adjust up to 6 different boost levels. To adjust it, press mode and toggle to the value that you want. In our case, we'll just keep it at 1. Now that we've finished setting up the basics, we're ready to tune the boost. In part 2 of our video, we'll set up the set point value, the gate pressure value and the sensitivity. Stay tuned for more. Peace out.